trying to do here is dye our flowers. I put the food coloring in as you guys seen and hopefully within 24 hours the food coloring and the dye will have soaked up into the white part of the flower and change the white to blue. Now you're still going to have some white. It's not going to make the flowers totally blue, but it should give them some kind of um, coloring. I don't know how well the red is going to work. The video that I watched, they did it with blue and blue did really well on the white petals. Um, so we shall see about the red. I don't know if it's dark enough to dye the, the white flowers, but we shall see. We're going to come back and check on them. And hopefully they are nice and bright because that will be so pretty. And you can actually stick these lights inside of the water down at the bottom if you want. But I just never do that. I just kind of set them behind it and let them illuminate from the, from the back. And it still looks pretty. All right, so I'm gonna take you guys around really quick. This is gonna be a quick video because I do not have a lot of decor. I only have a little bit of 4th of July decor. It doesn't even fill up a whole Tupperware bin. I just go really simple for 4th of July. I like to save my money for the bigger holidays that I like to go all out for. Um, so just over here on this wall, I have this Dollar Tree flag, very simple. It covers a lot of this wall right here. That's why I stuck it there. And then coming over here into the kitchen, I have a USA sign that I also got from the Dollar Tree. It has some burlap detail, which I love, so cute. And then same on this side over here, another one of the burlap signs from the Dollar Tree. This one has stars. And then right down here into my coffee nook, very simple over here as well. In the back, I just have a cup that says red, wine, and blue. It just has some blue and white straws in there. And then on top of this uh, wood tiered tray, I just have these two little dishes that I got, I think from either TJ Maxx or Marshalls a couple years back. And then some red, white, and blue star sprinkles. So cute. We gotta have the sprinkles out and ready to use. I also have these little Jimmy ones as well, red, white, and blue. And then this was a candle jar. I emptied it out and put some Dove chocolates with the red wrapping paper. <laughs> Keeping with the theme here, you know, everything that's red and blue, we just pull it out and display it. And then I just have a little uh, glitter star in there. And then down here, we've got some more red, white, and blue candies. These are the sour strips, and they are so good. The ones down here at the bottom, the red, white, and blue ones, these are by the brand Airhead, and they are so good. Those are my favorite. I need to pick up some more of those. Um, and then, of course, they go with the theme and the decor, so of course. And then we just have a, pack, a stack of plates here, and then this cute... Uh, red, white, and blue tin that I got from the Dollar Tree years back. And then I just have some cutlery in there so that it's easy access when it gets closer to 4th of July. We'll be able to use like these plates for just little snacks and things like that. And they're readily available up on the counter. And then over here behind the sink, I just did a simple American flag in one of these little milk jars up here on the windowsill. And then if you guys have watched any of my previous Decorate videos, you know that I'm just extra with matching <laughs> with matching my dish soap to um, the holiday that we're going into. They do not have a red dawn, uh, at least that I have not seen. So I picked up the blue dawn and then we went ahead and we paired it with the Bath and Body Works Firecracker Fizz Soap. I always have a Bath and Body Works um, hand soap up on my sink. This one has the notes of red berry, red cherry, fritters, <laughs> my God. <laughs> Cut, cut. Let's do that over again. Okay, so I have these two paired together and they match and they go with the theme. Okay, if you guys, I literally cannot talk today. Holy moly. Um, I picked up the Firecracker Fizz soap from Bath and Body Works. I always have a Bath and Body Works hand soap at my sink, and it's always the foaming ones. I hate the gel ones. Uh, but this one has notes of red cherry, fresh citrus, and juicy berry. That's a mouthful. Uh, but you see how cute it looks? Extra. <laughs> you can't have orange dish soap next to uh, Bath and Body Works 4th of July soap. It just, it doesn't go together, okay? It just doesn't work. And for Halloween, I either use Orange Dawn or Green Dawn, okay? Until they come out with a Purple Dawn. <laughs> and then up here in this little tin, I just have some extra essential oils. 
And then over here, very simple. This is the tray that we use to bring out like hot dogs and burgers and things like that. It's a nice big tray for the grill. So I just have that tray back there just to display it, you know. Um, for any holiday that I'm decorating for, I like to just pull out anything that I already have. And if it matches, I pull it out and it goes somehow, some way. Like I have the blue and the red spatula pulled out so that you can see the blue and the red. Anything that color coordinates, you know, that's how we do it over here. And then uh, the only thing that I purchased this year for 4th of July was these towels. And I got these from Marshalls. They were like $8, but it came with a pack of four. So it came with these two pretty design ones. And then it came with two plain white ones. But look at how cute these are with the bathing suit and the swim shorts and the popsicle. So stinking cute. When I seen these, I had to grab them. They got a lot going on, but I like to have pops of color and things like that when I'm decorating. So I didn't want just plain red or plain blue because that would have been boring. We're extra over here. And then you guys seen in the beginning that we just worked on these flowers. You can already see that they are starting to pull some of the blue in the middle. So I can't wait to see what they look like after 24 hours. I will definitely update you guys and show you guys what they look like. But I just have that displayed up here on this cute little tray. And then these letters I got from the Target dollar spot a while back. Just says USA. And then I have my favorite candle back there burning. And you guys are definitely going to hear the kiddos because, well, I have kids and it's summer break. And trying to get them to be quiet while I film the video is next to impossible. So <laughs> it's reality here. She's over here on the couch watching her tablet. Uh, but coming into the living room again, very minimal on this stand. I just have these roses that we've had for some time. They are actually looking like they're dying soon. So we're going to be getting ready to, hey, 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 hey. Um, they look like they're on their last leg. So I'm going to get ready to toss these very soon. I just stuck an American flag in this little mason jar here with them. What? What did you see? Three stars. Ooh, three I stars. <laughs> um, and then in this galvanized tin over here, I just have wine corks and some red, white, and blue stars. Uh, these are like table scatter. So I just threw them in here around by the wine corks, and it looks so cute. And then down here on this level, I have another uh, galvanized tin, and I just threw a red bandana in there. I thought that that looked cute and country and red, white, and blue. It goes with the theme, you know? <laughs> and then over here in this jar, I have some more wine corks. And then I just threw a strand of red, white, and blue star lights from the Dollar Tree. These star lights from the Dollar Tree are so cheap. And it's a pain in the butt to pull them out and turn them off because they don't come with a remote. So um, when they die, they die. You know, they eat up batteries. They don't last very long. But it looks cute for now. It looks cute for the video. <laughs> and then over here in the corner on this round table, I just have a, another American flag stuck in this cute little jar that I have some greenery in. And then more of that star glitter table scatter just stuck right there. And then I have my, um, what is this, diffuser set to a blue color. Let me see if I can lighten the... There we go. Now you can see how blue it is. Look at how cute. You can change the color. You can let it go through like all of the colors and it will circulate. Or you can just put it solid on one color. And I just have it on the blue. So cute. You guys might recognize this diffuser. This is a super cheap one that I got off of Amazon because I was not about to spend $300 on the Aria diffuser that looks exactly like this. And then, of course, I've yet to, let me brighten this back up here. And then, of course, I've yet to put a picture in that frame back there, which I need to do because I have the cutest red, white, and blue um, picture of the kids from a couple years back that they took with their cute themed 4th of July shirts. And that will be so cute in that frame. So I need to do that. And then over here on our coffee table in the living room, simple again, I just have another one of the red bandanas put down on the bottom. I have one of my Lakeside Collection magazines displayed because it has all things 4th of July on the picture on the, on the cover. 
and then some more of the star table scatter with some coasters some paper coasters that I got from Target dollar spot a while back and then another American flag So over on my TV stand, very plain, no decor. I just left it as is. Same with over here on this entertainment console, just plain, no decor. We are doing the bare minimum over here this year. <laughs> over here on this table, I just have one of the American flags stuck in this container. I don't know what this container is. If you know the proper word for what this is called, definitely say it down in the comments below because I'd love to know. I know that it's galvanized tin or galvanized steel so I know that part <laughs> but I just don't know what this jug is called um, and then I have Tony put the fireworks over here and he kind of just let them sit there I had no decor over here so this is kind of just where they've sat since he's got them um, but we are gonna blow these babies up on 4th of July so that's exciting no decor just a big you know a big box of fireworks just sitting right here <laughs> So one of my favorite features when we first seen this house was this wall cutout up at the top that goes all the way through over to the playroom. Tony just recently put up these neon strip lights up there and I love it because it creates such a vibe at night. It looks so much better. And of course I have the color set to blue because blue goes with the theme. So we are now in the playroom and I wanted to show you guys that that hole in the wall comes all the way over here and that's where the lights stop. Tony did not continue the neon lights on this little cutout side over here, uh, but whatever, <laughs> it's what it is. Over here on this table, it's my favorite table to decorate for all of the holidays. Ignore this egg chair that's poking out over here. I stack up the kids' chairs when they're not sitting on them in the playroom because they just take up a lot of space in the playroom. Uh, but And also I'm filming a video, so they gotta go over there. But on this table, I have a home sweet home sign that I got from Marshalls, two of the kids' little play beads that I grabbed the red and blue one out and just displayed them here because it goes with the theme, some more of the glitter star uh, table scatter, and then I have that red light back there. These are the flowers you guys just seen, of course, in the beginning as well. And look at the red already peeking through. So cute. I can't wait till they're done. Um, and then I just stuck a American flag in the bunch of flowers and that looks cute like that. And then over here on this little wooden pedestal that I got from the Target Dollar Spot, I have a Ray Dunn candle. Um, it's a beautiful like navy, deep navy color and I like it because it's going to come in use in a couple days. Father's Day is around the corner and I'm just going to go ahead and turn it around because it's a super dad. So it goes for 4th of July and uh, Father's Day. And then I have a red dis uh, doily on the table here. And then I have my beautiful baby. She just graduated VBK. I have her displayed in this uh, picture frame. I couldn't think of the word. I had this up here because I had a cute little like graduation setup. I should have filmed it. I did a cute little like balloon setup and table setup. And I did it all, but I just... I. I was really backed up with work and trying to get all this stuff done and we were getting ready to go camping so it was just like I had no time to film anything um, but I just still have that picture in there because it's blue and white so it goes with the theme and then I have two wooden stars here a red and uh, blue one it kind of has like these pearls on here I don't, I don't know what the proper word is for these beads I guess beads whatever beads and then I have the blue light back there so that's what's on the top and then underneath the table I just have a wooden red white and blue star that I got from Marshalls I love that star and then over here I have a stars and stripes forever pillow that I got from Marshall no that was home goods and then this uh, like wooden little I don't know what this thing is but I grabbed it from Target dollar spot and I really could have just kept it there because <laughs> I don't know what to put in it and what to use it for so I just threw some of that um, red and blue it looks like Easter basket filler it's like uh, paper scrabble I don't know what it is you put it in gift bags and Easter baskets and that's what I stuck in there and then I stuck that pillow on top so 
You could tell I was running out of ideas down here, okay? And running out of decor. I don't have a lot of 4th of July things. Uh, but I think it looks cute for now. It'll do, you know? Maybe next year we will step it up and, and get some new decor. And then over here is just a larger scope of the playroom. Not really decorated in every area. On the TVs, on both the TVs, I have the flag displayed. These are on YouTube. You can just go into YouTube and search uh, 4th of July background. And then you could pick whichever one you want. A lot of these go for hours, you know what I mean? So you can have them displayed on your TV while you are hosting, which kind of just adds to the vibe and gives that extraness. Look at how cute that looks. Down here on Layla's little activity table, I have a little wooden tray with a blue bandana and then the remotes to our TVs. But then she has a cute little tin here that says happy fourth. Let me lower this brightness. Uh, this tin says happy fourth. And then I just pulled out all of the red and blue markers in here. And these were glow sticks. Of course, they don't glow anymore, but she still just uses them to play with. And then I stuck another American flag in here. And then this came from the Dollar Tree. It's like one of those like wind blower thingies that I used to have as a kid. I just shoved it inside of her little uh, marker caddy here. Of course, now it doesn't want to stay nicely the way that it was. So over right here by the door when you come in, I have another sign from the Dollar Tree. This one is so cute with all of the red, white, and blue letters on there. And then I have another American flag draped over the top of this window. And then I have a banner with the American flags on it from the Dollar Tree. I did have three clusters. Let me brighten this up a little bit so you guys can see. I did have three clusters of red, white, and blue balloons, but one of them has fallen. <laughs> I'll, I'll get around to putting that back up there at some point. And then I just have a another red bandana draped on the back of that middle cushion on the couch there. And every time I post a video on Instagram or YouTube in the playroom, I always get asked about this huge uh, cowhide uh, beanbag chair. Uh, this is by the brand Corduroys. And you can find them on Instagram, Corduroys. It's massive and we love it. You can actually take the uh, the inside out of the, the cowhide like cover and you can lay, it turns into a full size, like um, comfortable, comfy padding. So you can like lay it out and sleep on it flat if you want. You know what I mean? Like if you have guests coming over and you don't have a blow up mattress, you can literally pull that out, throw some sheets on it and they can sleep on that piece that's inside there. And then another section that I've decorated in here is Layla's kitchen. I decorate this for every single holiday. It's one of my favorite things to throw some decor on and just kind of make this uh, playroom pop. And it also makes it fun for her when I decorate her kitchen. Uh, this was the uh, dish towel that I had displayed on my stove last year. And I just put it over here on her stove since I got some new ones. This came from Cracker Barrel and it's just darling with all the ruffle. I love it. And then back there, I have a USA sign. I got that from Target Dollar Spot. Another one of the 4th of July tins and another flag stuck inside that tin. This just has some of her like kitchen utensils in there. And then up here, I kind of wanted it to look like a 4th of July barbecue. So I pulled out her ketchup and mustard and her little spatula with this little like picnic looking napkin right here. And then one of the paper coasters. And then this is another strand of those cheap Dollar Tree lights. And then I just have a star tin here. I need to find my um, tea light candles that light up so I could put it in there and have that luminate at night. And then more of that Easter basket filler back here with the red and blue. And then more beads. And actually this is like one of those fabric quarters that you can buy that are already pre-cut at Walmart. I planned on making a bow and doing some cute stuff with it, but I never got around to it. So I just folded it and put it up here. I actually love, if this was a bow, it would be so cute because I love this bomb pop um, graphic for 4th of July. It's so cute. I want to get the kids shirts with bomb pops on them from Instagram, but... These small shops, they have the cutest like theme shirts for all of the holidays, but they're too much. They want like $30 for a shirt for each shirt. I'm not going to spend $30 for
for a shirt that has a bomb pop on it for my son and then do one for Layla as well. That's $60 on two shirts. So I totally get supporting like small shops, but when it's $30 for one shirt, no, we will not be doing that. Um, and then over here on this Ikea stand that I also love to decorate every single year, um, we just have a plane. The kids got these planes from the Dollar Tree recently and they have red and blue, so I just put them out here. We were going to paint them, but they decided to just put the stickers on them. I don't know where Layla's plane is at. This is Tony's, I think. Uh, but they would be so cute if we actually painted them. And then down here in this little cubby, I just have... <laughs> I literally was being extra. This pack of pencils says USA, so I pulled that out, and it has, like, the uh, American flag graphic on it. So I pulled that out to display it. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I go around through my house, and anything that fits the theme, I pull it out and display it in the playroom because it's just, it's cute, and it makes the playroom pop. <laughs> and then I have the Cat in the Hat book displayed because, of course, it's red, white, and blue. We got her fat her flashcards here. This will all change up after 4th of July. I'm going to give it like a tropical summer theme and I'll film that video as well. But for now, it's all red, white, and blue up here. And then I just have this little jar of her red and blue letters that go on her magnet board. And then down here, we just have some books that are red, white, and blue. And then over here in this cubby, I just have some more fun little 4th of July play things displayed. One great thing about pulling everything that you have for that holiday, pulling it out and displaying it, is that on 4th of July, we can literally just come over here. Tony can grab his sunglasses. We can grab beads. And it's super simple to get the kids all dolled up for that holiday because we already have everything laid out. We don't have to run around the house scattering around at last minute looking for cute little like accessories to go with the holiday you know because the kids love to wear like these little beads and put their glasses on and have their glow sticks and stuff like that so everything's already pulled out and we can just go and get in the car and go see the fireworks <laughs> but I have another one of these little windmill things back here another coaster let me focus Another coaster that says Happy Fourth, some sunglasses. These are Tony's sunglasses. These little plastic hats I got at the Dollar Tree. Some more of that table scatter. These all came in the same pack with the stars. And then they also came with these cute little like fireworks back here that have pipe cleaners. So cute. Um, just being extra. This little doggy came from the Dollar Tree as well. And then down here in the bottom, Tony displayed his Teslas, which was such a cute idea. We did it last year as well. He has the red, white, and blue Teslas, and he loves Tesla. He's like a fanatic. He knows everything about Tesla. And then over here, I just have some more red, white, and blue toys just pulled out. We have this cute little paper jet that came from the Dollar Tree. Some more beads. That unicorn also came from the Dollar Tree. And then we just have some red, white, and blue colored cars. Up here again, a... Paw Patrol toy that is red, white, and blue with Sonic in there. <laughs> and then over here, I love to pull out like the Legos that match. I've done this so many times with um, so many different holidays. I pull out all of the Legos that match for that holiday and display them in these cute little tin, um, little Tupperware containers. And then another one of the red, white, and blue tins with some uh, lights that they like to take with us to the 4th of July. You know what I mean? To the fireworks. I said to the 4th of July. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, so this again will be super easy. They can come over here and just grab the things that they want to take out. These were uh, glow sticks, but they don't glow anymore, but it's still cute to display. You know what I mean? And then down here on this one, the last could be just some red, white, and blue books and some activity sets.
So major fail on the dyed flowers. This is all that they have dyed and it's been four days. This is all the color that they sucked up. The red are even worse. But you can see it's been four days here. The water was all the way up to where it's dyed on that stem. And this is all it's sucked up and it still is not fully red. So. If anyone knows how to successfully dye flowers, please let me know. Am I using the wrong food coloring? I don't know. I have no clue. Looks like I'm going to have to go out and buy red, white, and blue flowers. <laughs> Fail.